One resident describes her horrifying experience when she first realized the complex was on fire. Well, I woke up to go give me a cold pop. Then I Classic. Was barbecuing. I've never seen the raw video. I love her. I wish I knew her. Then I ran out. I didn't grab no shoes or nothing, Jesus. Oh, yeah. I'm ready for my life. Best I interview ever. I got bronchitis. Ready for the beat to drop. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. I have actually mentioned ain't nobody got time for that randomly in emails. Treated for smoke inhalation at a local hospital, there were no other reports of injuries. I feel bad that I laughed at that. That is not a laughing situation. <laughs> but that lady, she was just funny. A man claiming his Jesus plows his car into a PG&E worker, pinning him against his truck because the worker was black. The man's passenger oh my God. and innocent bystanders come to this the rescue. This is shockingly depressing. <laughs> you know what? I come to realize I'm Jesus Christ and I can do anything I want to. Oh, this dude. Yeah, I've seen this dude. Smashed into this guy right there, pinned him in between that truck. Homeless hitchhiker Kai. Oh was my in the God, people exist like this. I love his title. Homeless down. hitchhiker Kai. He runs up and he grabs one of them, man. So I ran up behind him with a hatchet. Smash, smash. Smash! Oh, get that last one in there, buddy. Smash, smash, smash! Yeah. <laughs> smash, smash, smash! Yeah. Yeah. Why well, haven't I seen this? He just finished uh, what looked like at the time killing somebody, and if I hadn't have done that, he would have killed more people. What a good guy. Lifesaver. As crazy Which is as ironic here, given his current circumstance. See, this video is weird now. This video is weird now. And the guy driving that car is right where he belongs in police custody. I'm talking with Charles Ramsey. He's a neighbor. Okay, this guy is my friend. Her screaming. I meet my McDonald's. I still say best sponsorship ever. I see this girl going nuts trying to get out of a house. It doesn't feel right watching this without music. It's just, it feels wrong. He's clearly never had an interview before, and I think it just makes it all the better. And she comes out with the little girl, and she says, call 911. My name is Amanda Berry. You got the, some big testicles to pull this off, bro, because we see this dude every day. Ain't nothing exciting about him. Well, until the day. <laughs> what, was, what was your reaction on the girl's face? <laughs> it's such a weird laugh. Oh, I knew something was wrong when a little pretty white girl ran into a black man's arms. Something is wrong here. Oh, the best thing. Dead giveaway. <laughs> Dead giveaway. Charles, thank you very Dead much. Giveaway. Dead giveaway. Dead giveaway. Dead giveaway. Either she homeless or she got problems. That's the only reason why she run to a black man. Wow. Charles, thank, thank you for being there, man. Charles Ramsey, a neighbor, heard the screaming, took action. Went All right. Now we get to see him with music. Uh, no. No? Ah, uh, I love weird news. So what did all of those clips have in common? They came from white people who were like, look how crazy black people are. Hilarious people witnessing shockingly depressing crimes. All of those clips were local newscasts that went viral. What was the woman talking about in the first one? So there was a fire and she didn't have time for it. She didn't have time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Honestly, I was waiting for the beat to drop, so I'm not sure if someone died. All I was waiting for is, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> so it was really hard for me to concentrate what she was saying. Um, so you don't even know what was going on? <laughs> no, I have no idea. <laughs> this is the first time I've watched this video, honestly. And like, I, all I know is that woman's face, picture, Ain't nobody got time for that. So Kai, the guy in the second video, what do you think of him when you see this video? Well, the, the thing that I, I think about all of those people, that they all have done a lot of drugs. All these peoples are crazy. <laughs> he's crazy, he's on drugs, he's throwing, why the f does he have a hatchet? I like that his official title was Homeless <laughs> Hitchhiker. He genuinely was trying to do what he could do, but he's high. I don't know, he seemed like a, a cool dude. Like, looks can be deceiving. Still the weirdest video for me to now watch. Why, what happened? What happened with Kai, he may have murdered somebody, and it, your, since your channel's PG-13, I can't say why he said he might have done it. Well, recently, Kai has been arrested for murder. <gasps> Wait, really? Kai has been arrested for murder. What? Shocking. Well, I mean, I'm not surprised. <laughs> he was under the influence of something, and something bad. Months ago, or whenever the story made the news, would I have thought, like, 
oh, he'll be wanted for murder someday. This is like in Batman, where the hero lives long enough to become the villain. Seriously? That's so... Why am I, like, smiling about this? It's, like, terrible. Is there a video for that, too? And what did you think about the guy in the last video, Charles Ramsey? Oh, my gosh. Charles is a hero in my book. I think he's probably my favorite out of everyone. He's the most colorful. He is a badass and my hero, and he is one funny dude. I can't believe we're laughing at all of this. This is all horrible. <laughs> it is terrifying to think that these women have been gone for probably a decade, right? But everyone's just gonna be talking about this lovable black man. It's fun, it's funny, but then again, we are kind of belittling the fact that they were held captive for years, and it's it's very strange when you juxtapose that with dead giveaway and just all the all the silly little parodies. It's the internet is a strange, bizarre, wonderful, weird place. Sometimes we can appreciate the fact that this is a very significant, like terrible situation, while at the same time being able to smile at another aspect of it. I think we can sort of separate the two. Is that okay? Like for this video to go viral and this horrible news story was breaking at the same time? Oh man. I don't know, it's YouTube, everything's okay. You can get cut on the face by a sword and people think it's the funniest thing ever. Truth! Why do so many local news reports go viral? Because you never know what you're gonna get with these people that they interview. Like, what the heck sometimes? I think it's the shock value. The reaction to it is so different than what you expect. You always ask me why, and I'm like, it's the internet, bro. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> these are people that are probably never on camera. They don't think about, like, this is gonna be recorded, and they are their most real, raw self, and the thing, mo the thing most loved on the internet is authenticity. Every video that goes viral is about the news, and it's about some crazy person being interviewed on the news. It's not shocking. Watch the news. This is every night on the news. Most of the things that entertain us on the internet are not things that we would like to be close to in real life. If it actually came down to being next to them every day or being in close proximity, we would not laugh at most of the things we laugh at on the internet. What types of people are typically the subject of viral videos like these? I think in the court of law that would be a leading question. I mean, I don't want to like judge people here, man. You're putting me on the spot. <laughs> people in not as nice neighborhoods. These people, they don't have pampered lives. They live in the ghettos. So they're gonna be tougher and therefore I think more charismatic when a camera comes in and says like, tell us how it was. Well, they'll just be like, well, all right, here we go. Should news outlets be releasing these interviews in this way when they could edit them to make these people seem more normal? I mean, the, the news station obviously sees a big opportunity for like a bunch of PR and stuff, so they're not gonna pass that up. They are cherry picking spectacles of humanity. Well, that's a balanced decision. I'm like being a judge. I'm like, uh, kind of, the person did say that in the interview, but then the editor didn't have to leave in the stuff that wasn't relevant. Sure. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, there has been times where I'm like, do they really need to like include all of this? You know what I mean? I'm like, what? Like, are you trying? to exploit these, these people. We're not even talking about news anymore. We're talking about how crazy this man is. Where's the girls? I wanna see them. I feel like they have to be going for it now. They're like, who's just the craziest person that maybe we can get a shred of something online and people will see our logo. They wanna go viral. They wanna find these crazy people so that they can have these great stories and their news station blows up. More views, you know? So is it okay to exploit them? I mean, whether it's okay or not, it's, it's gonna continue to happen. Finally, what advice do you have for people if they're ever interviewed by the news? Just be yourself. I don't wanna see fake stuff, so just be genuine, be yourself. What you should really do is bust out chocolate rain. If you're good at improv, then ham it up. Feel free to embellish your story. Be a little crazy. If you do wanna be famous, just boom, go for it. Balls deep. <laughs> Give the best interview that you can muster. Say the most craziest things and you will probably get a song written about you on YouTube. Thanks for watching another episode of YouTubers React. Let us know what videos we should react to next. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Help support the show and subscribe to all the channels below. See you later, you dingus. I'd stick around, but you know we got time for that. <laughs>